Aya, thanks a lot guys for uh, for coming. Hata kama tuliwapatia tuliwaita jana, mmefika on time na hiyo short notice. Kwa majina naitwa Charles Njagwa Kanyi. Uh, mimi ni mmoja wa wale wa invite hapa leo. Na the main reason uh, tuko na two reasons yenye tumewaita hapa siku ya leo. Ya kwanza mimi kama msanii na release video mpya naitwa Unthinkable tumefanya na lava lava kutoka wasafi TZ na ya pili kama unavyojua before niingie siasa that was in 2017 nilikuwa na record na studio inaitwa Main Switch Studios na after niliingia siasa kidogo eh, tukaacha production as in atuko into serious production lakini saa hii kama mnaviona hapa leo Thika Road tumefungua Main Switch tena ambayo itaanza tena ku record kama vile tulikuwa tuna record kitambo sama swali Uh, uh, tumetoa audio ngoma inatoka leo video lakini tulitoa audio kama four days ago and that's where i belong kwa hivyo Uh, vile nilinyamaza ni kwa sababu naona wakati niliingia siasa uh, being a member of parliament sio rahisi kwa sababu wezi juggle between kufanyia kufanyia wananchi kazi kwenda bunge na kufanya music at the same time so nikapata sometimes hata kwa sababu na, unajua kwa msanii unahitaji time unafikiria idea una record alafu inaitisha time mingi sana so wakati niliingia mbunge nikaona nimeshikamana sana yani hakuna time nilikuwa napata ya kwenda studio kuwa mu creative na vitu kama hizo so nikaweka kando kidogo lakini sasa naweza sema haikuwa plan yangu ati nimesema nimerudi nakumbuka vizuri the song uh, we are releasing the, today nilifanya kama seven years ago one day the, tumekuja kufungua studio kuangalia studio venye inaendelea and my good friend lava lava was in town akapitia na wakati filo alikuwa anaicheza tu producer wangu alikuwa anaicheza akasema ah hiyo song kali sana yani before hata nitulie kidogo nilipata asha andika na aka record na mimi nikasikia ni ngoma nzuri nikasema eh, good music hakuna haja nizuie itoke kwa hivyo tuka record na tukafanya video na sasa ndio hii inatoka kwa hivyo naweza sema mimi napenda muziki na mahali nimefika hata sasa hivi kaniuliza ni choose between kuwa mwanasiasa kuwa assistant minister me any day ni choose muziki kwa sababu i believe kila kitu niko na among zile vitu nimeweza ku benefit nazo kwa hii kwa hii kwa hii dunia music imenifikisha music ndio imefanya nifike mahali nimefika leo Okay umesema uh, ukiwa MP ungeweza kufanya muziki na pia uendelee na kazi ya bunge mm. but right now pia uko na jeo kwenye government itakuwa je Naweza sema ni tofauti kidogo kwa sababu ukiwa assistant minister unachukua duties kutoka kwa CS na kama unavyojua tumekuwa na tumekuwa na kesi kotini na for now hatuja report kwa ofisi lakini kulingana na vile najua uh, ukilinganisha CS na member of parliament ziko tofauti sana kwa hivyo najua nitakuwa napata time ya kufanya muziki na time ya kufanya ile kazi president amenipatia Jago congratulations kwanza kwa the new music Thank you na unaona ndakutoa na lava lava mm-hmm. video ya hiyo music itakuwa Kenya matangani kukua Kenya video mtafanya huko Kenya tushafanya video mlifanyia Kenya tulifanyia Kenya tulifanyia Kenya okay i'm maybe going back to main switch of course i've been seeing uh, so many labels coming up and uh, unfortunately was fanyi vizuri and so many artists wenye wamekuwa under labels so wamekuwa uh, fanyi vizuri when it comes to income and everything what are you guys planning to do this i think uh, one thing I, i i i've come to realize about uh, the music industry is that uh, you find artists wengine kama I, I remember the last time we had an interview I told you ni I'm where I'm, I'm where I am today kwa sababu ya mentorship and I think that is what is lacking in the music industry unapata msanii and I've been talking to even wale wanafanya vizuri sasa hii hana idea ya ku invest yeye anajua tu ni kuimba kuweka pesa kufanya nini na unajua muziki ni ya time kwa sababu hata mimi wakati niliacha muziki kidogo uh, ni kwa sababu nilikuwa nimefanya nimefanya nikaona uh, hata nitulie kidogo nisome music kwa sababu inaenda ikichange. Wasanii wengine wanakuja, sauti solo wanakuja. Mimi nimepata jua kali nimempita. Yaani muziki ni face ni for some time. Kwa hivyo mimi ile kitu nasema kitu ya kwanza hata before to sign msanii ni kuwa mentor. Kwa sababu lazima wachukue muziki kama biashara. 
lazima ikuwe biashara saidi yetu kama main switch na kusaidia wasanii lakini unapata sometimes ukiambia msanii leo unamsign and expect umlipie nyumba umchukulie gari umfanyie kila kitu that's unaona hata si Kenya pekee hata nchi za nje unapata kuna kuwa na mvurutano kati ya producer eh, kati ya label na msanii kwa sababu label already may invest a lot of money kwa msanii kwa hivyo ikiambia msanii tunarudisha pesa yetu kwanza msanii anaona hapana ananyanyaswa kwa hivyo kitu ya kwanza ya muhimu sana na nitasema ni kuwasanii wajue muziki ni biashara. Wewe uko na talent na producer uko na ile kazi yake kwa hivyo kila mtu ana benefit. Na I think hiyo ndio shida tumekuwa na unapata after some time unapata kuna wasanii mtu anasema nilifanywa na label sikupata pesa yangu vitu kama hizo kwa sababu naye anasahau zile vitu label imemfanyia. Mm -hmm. Okay, tuko hapo kwenye wasanii uh, kwa biashara. Uh, recently I covered a story uh, ya Mustafa it's a story that most of us know about it and he insisted that the reason yeye yuko mahali hapo sasa hivi it's because uh, muziki haulipi hapa. Maybe you can tell us your thoughts about it and maybe your thoughts about the story are you uh, He's your fellow artist. Have you planned to reach out to him or have you really done? Unajua, unajua, Miss Jun seme nini kwa sababu Mustafa ni rafiki yangu sana. Sana sana. Na wakati nikuwa naanza muziki, naeza sema nikuwa nataka siku moja nikuwe kama Mustafa. Na tukingile ishu ya Mustafa kwanza niku mshukuru kwa sababu tunawana ile kitu ilifanya tuseme wakati tu, ile kitu ilifanya ajipata kwa mjengwa nasema ni ugonjwa na tunajua sisi wote hata bilionea hata mi mwenyewe e, ikifika ni ugonjwa hakuna mtu waezi kawezwa kwa hivyo mi niseme hivi mi najua muziki na lipa na kama vile nilianzia nikasema hapa ni vile unachukulia muziki ukichukulia wewe unafanya muziki kwa sababu kuna talent na unataka kuenjoy maisha utaenjoy utaenjoy maisha lakini mimi nilingia kwa muziki nika invest nikafanya shughuli zangu nikijua hii si biashara sitakuwa naweza kosa kuwa lake kama mtu kama Kofi Olomide ambaye nilimsikiza nikiwa mtoto mpaka saa hii anaendelea kuwa na bahati ya kuwa kwenye muziki kwa hivyo mimi nasema na nita insist hata leo hata kama ni serikali ifanye nini lazima we mwenyewe kwanza ujipange hata sio muziki pekee hata siasa ukiingia siasa uenjoy au ufanye vitu zako bado tunaonanga kuna wabunge hata sisi tunawachangia pesa unapata mtu ni mgonjwa ama mtu alienjoy maisha yake anakuja bunge anakwambia ninunulie chakula kwa geti na alikuwa mbunge. Kwa hivyo mimi nasema na mimi na advice wasanii. Biashara yoyote kwa sababu kama ukiangalia kama sasa mimi before nitoke kwa muziki. The least nilikuwa nalipisha ni 500,000. 500, 500,000 hakuna kitu uwezi kafanya nayo hii eh, eh, dunia yetu. Lakini unapata mtu anapata 500,000, anataka kununua Mercedes, anataka kufanya hivi. Kwa hivyo ni lazima tujue muziki ni kama zile biashara zingine. Okay, we still look on a chart for hundred thousand. We expect maybe the rate can say it's a panda, am I going to find Unajua sija kuwa nikipiga show na na, uh, na unajua rate card ya mtu inakuja na ile kazi umefanya na mimi ufanya moja moja na vile nimesema na kama vile umeniuliza saa hii siwezi kashuka kuliko mahali nilikuwa before nianze kwa hivyo kama itahitaji nitie bidii zaidi na mimi ninasema sifanyi muziki hata ili niende nifanye show nifanye nini kwa sababu ni kitu napenda na ni kitu naweza taka iendelee na kuinspire wale mavijana wengine. Na tukirudia story ya 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 ya, ya, ya Mustafa, nilisoma hiyo story na ikaniguza na kama vile nimesema ni rafiki yangu. Apart from ile 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 wa Kenya walichanga. Sisi na marafiki zetu, eh, mimi, akina Arthur K, akina Big Ted, tumeshikana kama group. Na ninaweza waambia hapa tume raise more than 1 million na tuna plan next week kama Tuesday na tutawaita tutaenda kutembelea Mustafa kwake nyumbani na, na mamake ili tuwe to make sure kwanza anarudi tu, uh, tuone kwanza anarudi kwenye muziki ama anataka kufanya biashara ama na, na zile zingine atasaidia mamake na mtu kama governor Sonko amejitolea kupatia Mustafa kazi kwa hivyo uh, at least ndugu yetu tumesimama na yeye na tuta make sure ile kitu na, ina, ina, anapitia saa hii si tunashikana na yeye to make sure anatoka kwa hiyo shida na anarudi kwa muziki na endelee na maisha yake ya kawaida okay, nina swali mm. kwa uh, Mustafa ni kwa kiwa kwa shida kwa muda hivi kwamba nyinyi kama wasanii hamkujua ako na hiyo shida ama mlingoja kwanza ingia kwa mitendo mjitokeza kwamba mtamsaidia eh, hiyo ni swali ngumu kwa sababu unajua hata mimi kama sasa hivi nimekaa hapa kuna watu wapendi kuongea juu ya shida zake. Na that's why nimesema nimeshukuru Mustafa kwa sababu yeye alijikakamua kimwanaume na akaendelea. Yeye hakuja kuomba. Hakuja kuomba akakwambia Jaguar niko na shida hii. Mimi ni rafiki yangu na hajai niambia kitu kama hiyo. Hata wakati niliona hiyo story nilipigia producer wangu anaitwa Philip nikamuuliza kondi rafiki yetu Mustafa kona issue. Akaniambia tayari anakujanga studio na hajasema. Kwa hivyo naweza kasema kuna watu wasemangi shida zao. 
na ile video ilitokea sisi tulipata kwenye social media kama angekuwa na ukweli na ni rafiki yangu na unaweza kamuuliza ajai tupigia simu akaniambia jagua niko na shida hii unisaidie nikakataa na unajua kiukweli watu wengi wanapitia shida watu wengi sana wasanii sio sio Mustafa pekee na wale, kuna wale wanapitia shida bila umesema wasanii na wale waimbaji na waambiaje wamenyamaza chini ya maji kwa kiongozi na waambiaje wale wame kuna wale kama Mustafa wenye wanapitia shida kama hizo wasanii lakini sasa kujitokeza hawezi na mwambiaje unajua nayo tuongee tu kweli kibinadamu kila mtu akona shida zake hata mimi mwenyewe nakaa hapa hata nikiwa assistant minister ama nikiwa jagua unaweza ona kama niko na kila kitu lakini hata mimi nikipata mtu wako juu yangu naweza kumwambia shida zangu kwa hivyo mimi naweza kumwambia ni vizuri kuongea ile kitu unapitia na ni vizuri tena ukiwa juu uweke marafiki kwa sababu kuna wakati mwingine unapata mtu wako juu haongei na mtu unapata watu wanasema wanaanza kukuongea vibaya unaona Mustafa sisi wote tumemwembrace kwa sababu hajai katusi mtu hajai ongea vibaya kwa hivyo ni mtu unaona kama ni shida yako nayo na unavyojua watu wengi sana walipitia shida wakati ya covid hata mimi mwenyewe ili ni affect kwa hivyo wasanii wengi waliumia biashara mingi ziliumia kwa hivyo mimi nawaomba kama mtu wako na shida ni vizuri kuongea kuliko kujifungia kwa nyumba okay jago uh, ya jana au juzi umeanzia picha fulani kama teaser ya hii video but Kenyans interpreted we interpreted it pale kwenye twitter so wanasema kwamba unakula taxpayers money kwa maana unaonyesha kitu kama hivyo what do you have to say about that uh, mi si maringo lakini mimi nimekuwa mdosi for the longest time hata before ni kwa mbunge. <laughs> yaani si mara ya kwanza yaani si si semi ati najigamba ama kitu kama hiyo lakini maisha kama ile ya video ni vitu nimefanya miaka kama kumi na tano nikiwa kwa industry. Yaani hata nikiacha muziki saa zile niliacha kwanza ni kwa sababu niliona hakuna kitu sijafanya. Kama ni kupiga show nimepiga Kenya mzima. Kama ni Tanzania nimepiga Tanzania mpaka mikoa. Wacha sasa Dar es Salaam venye watu wanaenda kupiga show huko. Mimi nimefanya mpaka Mwanza, yani nimezunguka kama vile msanii anazunguka Kenya. Kama ni Burundi nimefanya, kama ni US nimefanya. Kwa hivyo naweza sema mimi hakuna mahali tunahusiana na taxpayers money. Na before hata nikuwe mbunge nilikuwa na pesa. Na hiyo si maringo ama ni nini na si atinajigamba. Kwa hivyo maisha yangu hata nikuzuia nilizuia kidogo after nimeingia MP tena wasiseme zaidi nikapunguza kwa hivyo hata kuingia kwa kwa, kwa government ili nifanya at least nisiweke kupost vitu zingine kwa hivyo nikianza kupost watachoka sana watachoka sana <laughs> On the same thing just before you answer Mheshimiwa tunaona uliweza kutumia chopa ya president tunatamani kujua how did you access it and how is your relationship with the president as well <laughs> Eh, kwanza nijibu swali yake kama 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 vile nimesema hapa muziki ni biashara na ile time nilikuwa kwa kwa kwa, kwa game ya music nimesema hapa the least mimi nilikuwa nachukua kwa show ni 500000 na kama ni kama hiyo time mimi nimesema nilichukua muziki kama biashara sikuwa naichukulia kama mchezo mchezo kwa hivyo kama nilikuwa na make one concert na lipo 500 na kila wiki naweza pata kama tano that, that, that tells you kila wiki nilikuwa na make more than 2.5 kwa hivyo vile nilikuwa naweza kuinvest mimi maisha yangu niliweza kujipanga. Yeah. Na about eh, eh, chopa ya president niliona watu wameongea sana. Rais ni rafiki yangu sana sana sana. And he is very supportive when it comes to the creative industry. Kwa hivyo mimi kumuomba chopa yake ni kitu kidogo sana kwa zile eh, ura, mahali urafiki yetu imefika. Kwa hivyo hakuna siku nitaenda kwa rais nimwambie nataka kitu inanisaidia mahali anikataza. Talking of the presidential support. Okay, let me let me know if they are part of that. Talking of the presidential support, Tuliona, of course, you were, uh, you were quite good. Now you are vying for the parliamentary seat. Like you can step down for someone else. Na pia ukarudi tena as an independent candidate. Tunashindwa au kuna pesa ulikuwa umepewa ndio step down na kama ulipewa ilikuwa shilingi ngapi? Unajua hiyo wakati nilipitia wakati mgumu sana kwa sababu nasikupata time ya kuji express kwa sababu najua kwa siasa kuna chama mimi najua maneno kama tuseme kama ODM kuna wakati party leader anasema nataka jagwa wakati mwingine anasema nataka huyu kwa sababu niliingia UDA nyakati za mwisho sana kama four months to, to election nikapata kwa UDA walikuwa chatafuta candidate wa kusimama mahali nilikuwa nime nasimama kwa sababu mimi nilikuwa jubilee kwa hivyo mimi tulikaa chini na rais na akanielezea kwa sababu chama iko na 
iko na walikuwa na preferred candidate wa kusimama pale starehe nikasikiza kwa sababu sikuwa sikuwa hiyo time yote walikuwa napanga mikakati yao kwa hivyo hakuna venye ninge defect leo na niseme ni kama sasa useme presidential candidate mwingine aingie UDA na kuwe presidential candidate so what we what we agreed with the president ni mimi ni sisimame ni msupport kwa presidential campaign nilizunguke naye kama vile mliona tunazunguka naye lakini sasa nikaona watu wameongea oh ameshindwa amefanya nzani kashindwa nimeshindwa kwa kiti na mimi mwenyewe sijavai kwa hivyo there was an agreement ya tulisikizana tukasikizana ni sisimame nimsaidie kwa presidential campaign alafu na yeye tukishashinda kiti nikaangalia sasa bigger 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 picture nikaona nimsaidie kwa kwa presidential campaign alafu akishashinda then tusaidiane kazi kutoka hapo right. you've uh, mentioned that um, our, the president uh, is very supportive when it comes to creative industry mm. and recently unfortunately tumepata habari uh, kuwa tutakuwa tukitaxiwa kama digital creators mm-hmm. uh, tungetaka kujua wewe kama uh, creative na pia kama mheshimiwa unaweza mm-hmm. sema nini about that and will we, we, we have uh, maybe a, an opportunity to go and table maybe our notes the, the, mm-hmm. ile kitu naweza sema staki niongee sana about kazi ya CS kwa sababu kama unavyojua kesi iko kotini lakini kwanza nataka nimshukuru rais kwa sababu for the first time tumepata arts yenye ni creative yenye ya, ya creative industry yenye mimi nimekuwa for the longest time imeweza kupata nafasi imewekwa kwenye ministry ya youth kitu haijai kuwa for, for the longest time ulikuwa unapata ni sports tu unapata ministry ya youth na sports wana wanashughulika sana na wakimbiaji vitu kama hizo unapata sisi watu wa wa, wa, wa comedy hawako musicians hawako actors hawako kwa hivyo kwanza namshukuru kwa sababu ameweka acts kama 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 kwa, kwa ministry ya youth kwa hivyo grievances zetu zote at least tutakuwa na mahali tunaweza kazipeleka na mimi nataka nikuhakikishia kwamba mimi ni mtu siwezi kasimama hapa nikasema ni, niweke kiburi niseme najua kila kitu na mahali nimefika sahihi nimefika kwa sababu ya kusikiza na vile mmesema critics wanaambua atakuwa analipa tax what I, what I can promise you kwa sababu mimi najua na mimi uomba sana tutapata uh, tuta, nitapata nafasi ya kuhudumia kuhudumia kama CS tutakaa chini na, wa, na na nyinyi watu wa digital uh, digital uh, digital uh, na wasanii tusikie zile shida wako nazo na tuone mahali serikali inaweza kaingilia kwa sababu hauwezi katatua shida na mimi na believe naamini na naamini kwamba zile shida mko nazo wale watu wanaweza tusaidia na solutions ni nyingi bado kwa hivyo mimi naweza wa promise after tumemaliza maneno ya kesi kotini tutakaa chini na nyinyi tukae na wasanii na actors tuone mahali kwa sababu ni ni department mpya tuone mahali serikali inaweza kaingilia mheshimiwa unaweza sema uh, you are in people's hearts because of your good music mm. na um, uliko unafanya kazi kubwa sana mm. then ikafika muda ukapotea ukaenda politics uh, most of your fans walikuwa frustrated kidogo kwa mm. umewaacha mm. sasa tunaona umerudi kidogo mm. kwa music mm. utafanyaje mpaka urudishe ile imani ya your fans kwamba utakuwa nao tena that's why nimekwambia whatever i have uh, sahi nashukuru kwa sababu ni music imenifikisha hapa na mafans wali support sana hata si Kenya pekee and hata ble, hata kiti yote niko nayo nimepata kwa sababu ya muziki na mimi najua ni ukweli kwa sababu once you join politics unapata your fans from the other the, maybe the other party wanapata ni kama mnachukiana ama kuna chuki lakini ukiniangalia kwa siasa yangu mimi si ule mwanasiasa wa kusimama ni tusi mwanasiasa mwingine so what i did ni concentrate na sare i did what i what i had to do for the sare people na na nikafika mpaka mahali nilifika nilifikisha hiyo kazi. Kwa hivyo mimi naweza kasema kwanza wasiniangalie kama msanii, waangalie kwa ile kazi naleta kwa sababu naamini kuna wasanii wengi sana hata wanatoa nyimbo na azichezwi, lakini kwa natoa wanasikiza kwa sababu ya zile eh, kwa vile nimeandika nyimbo zangu, mawaidha ambazo napeana kwa hivyo na talent yenye nilikuwa nayo. Kwa hivyo naweza sema bado narudi na ile talent. Kwa hivyo kwa hivyo sidhani sidhani naweza kaforce mtu asikize nyimbo kama sio nzuri. Kwa hivyo what I'll do ni make sure narudisha hiyo relationship na mafans wangu kwa kuwapea good music. Jambo hapo yeah. can you promise us that bado utaendelea ku stand for the truth as much as uko kwa government. Tunakumka kama kigeuto ya. Yeah, you speak out your truth. I don't know why I don't know why people choose only the, the politician part kwa hiyo song. Mm-hmm. Yeah, kwa sababu <laughs> no, but, hey. hata hata unasikia ngo watu wanikiintroduce mtu anakuita eh kigeuko ukuja hapa. <laughs> the song iliongea juu ya social evils mingi sana eh daktari zile vitu zina happen kwa society sijui kwa nini watu wanachukua ngani kama the worst people ni politicians no but can you promise us that we'll still speak your that's why i've said that's why i've said the the the, the, the appointment i got yeah. i'll sit down na wale wako stakeholders wa hiyo wa hiyo wa the creative industry tujaribu tusaidiane tumalize zile shida ziko i think that's the best i can do kwa sababu hiyo ndio kazi nimepewa okay tukio kwa main switch i'm going to give you some You know ni funny sana hata 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 it's a funny story kwa sababu I had friends that time 
na nilikuwa nimeanza kutengeneza pesa kidogo unapata rafiki yako rafiki yako rafiki yako kabisa yeye ndiye anaenda kukusengenya kusema vitu vitu mbaya ambao tu wewe unapata uh, unapata yule mtu unaamini kabisa hata watu wa familia hao ndio wanakuchongoa zaidi kwanza kuna siku nilienda siku moja nimepata visa ya US nikaenda US alafu nika, nika, nikaita watu nika nikawapikia nikawafanyia nini nikamwambia eh mimi naenda US wase mimi nime mambo yangu imefunguka kufika Detroit nikadipotiwa tena nikarudishwa hapa the same people wenye nilitia bash ndio walinichekelea zaidi <laughs> Unaona kwa hivyo ni song nilikuwa nadhania naandika about shida zangu nikapata ina, ina ya, ni kitu inakata cross kwa kila mtu na watu wakaipenda kwa hivyo By the way I thank I want to take this opportunity to thank Philo my producer na na, na Lucas eh? kwa sababu I remember that night nilikuwa nimeenda Kenzo the Kenzo was shooting his music video and uh, stima ikapotea so watu wakaambua ngojeni kidogo 30 minutes I just started dreaming nikia so juu chini ili nivuke boda wana nige na muamini i had written it lakini siku anadhania it was a good song so immediately nilimba the producer anaitwa Lucas akaniambia umeimba nini so i just i repeated the same songs because we were shooting the video at uh, Ogopa Studios aliachana na camera na kila kitu akaniambia let's go record that song so even mimi mwenyewe siku anajiamini na hiyo song it's only after like one week two weeks producer alinipigia akaniambia sasa whatever you've been looking for umeipata and even shot the video akiniambia nitafute pesa ya video namwambia i missed it cause cause i had done a lot of videos nikamwambia mimi i'm not willing to invest more music kwa music videos kwa sababu nilikuwa naona nili kama nimefika mwisho akaniambia tutakufanyia free so lucas is the one uh, alifanya nijue kigegeu ni mbaya sana na ninashukuru wa, wa kenya mm. uh, mheshimiwa uh, this is this goes to uh, wasewa uh, starehe uh, there has been a debate online pale twitter that uh, when you are the mp for starehe ulikuwa unaonekana what do you think about the person who uh, succeeded you man si hata wasi wengine wamjui jina you know the, you know you know what happened after unajua wakati wakati uda ilipatiana certificate kwa kwa mtu mwingine watu walikasirika kwa sababu uh, wengi walikasirika na wakavutia the current member of parliament i'm not saying that he is not doing his, uh, his, jo- his work the way he supposed to do and there is no way uwezi kasema ati leadership style ya jagua nayo tena ule mp yuko yuko afuate kwa hivyo mimi nilifanya kazi ya kujitolea kuonekana kwa watu kusikiza mashida kutatua lakini unaweza pata ule mp amechaguliwa hata kama watu wanasema haonekani mimi sijui kama anaonekana kwa sababu sijaenda huko sitaki nichomee mtu picha niseme watu wako na different styles za, za leadership na kama vile unavyojua a member of parliament ako na ofisi maybe the current member of parliament and a delegate of his yake ifanye zile vitu zinatakikana zina, zina Mhesh mm-hmm. seems like you still be doing your political duties at the same time being a musician are there conf- any conflict between music and politics na na sema iko na sema iko kwa sababu kwa sababu kama vile nimesema unaona kama sasa mtu akiniona mimi anaona rais rais eh, eh, Ruto Unajua kama tukiangalia zile votes nayo ODM ilipata kuna 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 kuna, kuna ni kama half half tunasema unaweza pata kama country ko divided kwa hivyo kufanya watu kufanya kuimba nyimbo ambayo kila mtu atapenda kama mimi sasa inakuwa sometimes unaona kuna mtu anasema huyu ni wa UDA huyu mimi sitaki kitu kama hiyo kwa hivyo kanasema kidogo yewe ina effect mimi kwangu kuna kuna shida hapo kidogo so there's a list that was published earlier um, and you came in as the number two in Kenya as the richest uh, musician in, in, Who was in Africa in East Africa in in, in 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 Kenya and then you came in number seven as um, in East Africa and they said you are worth around seven million USD is that true and if not how much do you think you're worth ile kitu naweza kasema Eh, ni kumshukuru Mungu kwa kunifikisha mahali amenifikisha. <laughs> na niseme, na niseme. Umesema namba 1 alikuwa nani? Unajua <laughs> <laughs> ukiangalia hiyo list, mimi nimekuwa kwa industry for more than 15 years. Na unaona harmonize kwa namba what nini lakini mimi naweza swear hapa before nini. Kama mtu kama ako there amenishinda na harmonize naweza kaacha muziki leo. Yeah. <laughs> kwa sababu unajua wale wanachukua zile vitu wanaona Range Rover wanachukua hizi lakini mimi mimi nimefanya vitu mingi sana sitaki nikae kama najigamba lakini kwa hiyo list wakienda into details yani kuna watu yani wakanishinda hapa yani naweza hata resign kwa hiki kitu niko nayo hata hapa huko hata hapo huko leza 
Nini? Sorry, sorry. Ni ingependa tuturudi kidogo kwenye muziki kazi kwa sababu kuna swali kwa muziki. Na ni kuna swali nataka kufahamu kitu kimoja pole. right now hapo awali we used to see wasanii wengi wakitokea main suits they were hitting walikuwa kubwa sana. Sasa hii kuna plans za kuleta wasanii wengine ambao watakuwa wamesainiwa ama wako sasa hii naweza kasema na ni kashki dataongea on behalf of the main switch lakini mimi kwangu vile nimesema kwa sababu nimekuwa kwa industry unaona the problem yenye iko kwa 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 kusainiwa kwa wasanii kama vile nimekwambia unapata wengi hawachukuli muziki kama biashara that's why unapata kuna hizo conflict kwa hivyo ile kitu nimeambia watu wangu eh, wa main switch kwanza ni kumenta wasanii hii ni biashara tunaingia nikitumia 10000 kwa kwa lazima hiyo pesa itarudi ndaso unapata kuna hizo mashida mingi. Kwa hivyo mimi nasema tutachukua wasanii. Kuna wale wako hata Mustafa mwenyewe amefanya nyimbo hapa inaenda kutoka. Kuna wengi sana wa Merekot tuko na kina ambasada. Kuna wasanii wengi sana wako. Lakini kitu ya muhimu sana ni kujua wajue tuko kwenye biashara. Okay, I have a question uh, just a concern mm -hmm. about music. Mm -hmm. So there's all, I think one of the reasons as to why you've been you know, making it as an artist is because by, uh, it's in line with what you sing. Mm -hmm. You sing content, you, are, you sing about reality and things that work and relate to. That's one thing that people will always remember you for. Then it was, I think it's also one of the reasons that you contributed to being voted, uh, voted by people mm -hmm. into you know, being a legislator. Mm -hmm. Now, there's one concern that I have as a gender reporter. Mm -hmm. To some extent, music has contributed to how mannerisms have changed among the youth, especially today. To one or twenty, uh, there are so many cases of you know um, sexual abuse and drug abuse and substance abuse. As an artist, what would you say about you know the, the current music? Maybe I'm sorry to say, quote unquote, mediocrity sells a lot mm -hmm. because people sing about you know sexualizing people and abuse and all that. You as an artist, what's your take? I don't know what we are, what we can do about that because Babu vulgar music have been there for the longest time. Because I remember even when I was coming up, the corner. <coughs> and people criticized, uh, criticized it and it hit. So I think it's something people like. What I can say is that ukiwa msani kama vile umesema zile nyimbo nilikuwa naimba. Mimi nilikuwa naangalia society ile kitu inaweza kuwa kama advice ama kitu kingine. Kwa hivyo naweza kawaambia wale wasanii ambao wanatunga hizo nyimbo kwa sababu they don't last for long. Kwa hivyo kama unataka kuwa remembered kama legend wa ufanye muziki ambao una relate na watu ambao uko hata mzazi anaweza kaucheza mbele ya watoto kwa sababu itakuwa na longer life na wewe utakuwa na heshima hata ukisimama mahali kama sasa unaenda mahali unaomba huyu ule ameimba tingiza matako sasa unaona hata ni aibu kwa hivyo mimi naweza kawa advice hata kama inahita haraka na inaisha haraka kama wewe unataka kuwa remembered kama mtu ali make change kwa music industry ni vizuri ufanye muziki ambao iko na message okay, okay right the current gospel industry what you me have never been a gospel artist. Of I think kuna scandals mingi zilitokea. I think kwa kwa zile kwa music industry. I think watu wakaona ni kama inakaa kama kimchezo. Lakini sidani sifai sidani wa, wa Kenya ama wale wanasikiza gospel music wanafaa wa change kwa sababu ya watu wawili watatu. Ni kama tu ile story ya Shakahola. Mimi naweza kasema ukisoma Bible ukisoma Bible inakuelekeza vile utaishi maisha bila kuumiza mwenzako. Kwa hivyo hatuwezi sema ati tuachane na 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 na, gos, na na neno la Mungu kwa sababu ya mtu mmoja. Kwa hivyo mimi naomba wa Kenya wale walikuwa nasikiza gospel ati kwa sababu kuna wasanii wengi sana wa gospel. Wasiache kusikiza gospel music kwa sababu ya watu wawili. Okay. okay. Um, Mheshimiwa, mm. mimi naitwa Mwenye Kazungu. Mm. Na umezungumza kuhusiana na kolabo yako ambayo ni wimbo wako mpya ambao unatoka leo. Mm. Na Lava Lava ni msanii mkubwa sana wa East Africa.